Now, I want you to notice these two chairs, they're both the same color, but one is in the sunlight and the other one is all the way in the shade. These two chairs look like two different colors. So it looked like you had two different colored chairs sitting side by side. Now what that showed me when I saw that is when you're going through a situation that is unfavorable, something that you don't like, that is annoying, that is frustrating, that is scary, that is threatening, the situation to you seems dark. It seems like, oh no, and you start to, to fret because you see it through your human eyes. Your human eyes tell you the chair is black, the situation is black, the problem is black, the problem is unsolvable. Oh no, I don't have the money to handle that. Oh no, I don't have the friends. I don't have the transportation to get me there. What do I do? And what happens if you go to God and you ask him to help you see this thing through his eyes? Lo and behold, you go up to it, get a closer look, and you find out that chair is really red like all the rest of the chairs that are sitting in the bright sunlight. I hope you get the analogy I'm making. It's not a black chair. It's not a brown chair. It is red like everything else. It's just missing the sunlight for a moment. And we go through those momentary things in our lives where darkness casts its shadow. And when it casts its shadow, we're like, no, God said he will bless you. He will bless you. Ah. Verse 13 of 115, Psalms 115. He will bless them that fear the Lord, both small and great. The Lord shall increase you more and more. You and your children, you are blessed of the Lord which made heaven and earth. Listen. Even when it looks like you're being diminished, God, he has a way of working in paradoxes. He brings down to raise up. He takes away to give. Isn't that crazy? He'll raise you up and he'll allow you, he's not doing it, he'll allow you to grow up in a hateful atmosphere. But when he gets through with you, you turn out to be one of the most loving people on the planet. Where did that come from? You weren't raised in love. It came from God because he had a blessing on you. He had his hand on you. When God has his hand on your life, nothing that happened in your past that was meant to destroy you will do so. It won't destroy you. It'll actually build you up. You get a black eye, the way God works, it'll increase your eyesight. Something crazy. One woman, check this out. One woman fell. She got up and she fell. Um, when she, I don't know, she had some accident. Took away her blood, it took away her eyesight. Completely blind. Just like boom, in one day. Completely blind. Now she had to learn how to live as a blind person, right? Mobility training, all of that. And dealing with the mourning, the loss, the anger, all the stages you go through of losing a sense like that. All right. And what happens? One day, bam, she trips and she bashes her head against a piece of furniture. What a horrible thing. The woman's already blind. Huh. Huh. She got up with her eyesight started starting to recover. The hit on the head brought back her eyesight. See, no matter what God allows, no matter what Satan tries to do to pull you down, like Joseph said, 
when he spent those years in prison because his brothers were jealous of him and resented him for the love their father had for him and for the dream he shared. He said, you meant it when God elevated him right next to the authority of Pharaoh himself. When God elevated him that high, promoted him that high, he told his brothers, you meant it for bad. But God used it for good. Now, whatever comes against you in your life, whoever, whatever, however, wherever, whenever, the bottom line is, if you are in Christ, if you are trusting in God, if you truly fear him enough to work on your life, guess what, baby cakes? It's all going to work together for the good to those that love God and are called according to his purpose. Do you hear me? It's all going to work together because God loves you. His love is on you. His hand is on you. His favor is on you. You are blessed of the Lord. If you're blessed of the Lord, hey, nothing else counts, baby. That's the bottom line. You're blessed when you're broke. You're blessed when your car is gone. You're blessed when your house catches on fire. You're blessed when the when the uh the doctor tells you that you got this, that, or the other. You're blessed. But the question is, what determines how blessed you really are is who are you trusting? The doctor, the medicine, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your bank, your job, your husband, your wife. Who are you trusting? Yourself? Hey, I got this. Who are you trusting? That's where you got to get that together. Because you want to be right here where he says, you are blessed of the Lord. You want to be there. And you want to be one of those that God says, I know you fear me. And it's not, oh God, oh God, please don't, don't destroy me. Oh God, please don't take me to hell. It ain't that kind of fear. It's, wow, I can't play with him. But wow, does he love me. Whoa, he is wonderful. 